everyone, welcome to another video. We are gonna continue working towards those inversions. Today, we are gonna discuss headstands. So if you've been trying to do a headstand and you don't know how, this video is for you. If you've been doing headstands against a wall and you're afraid to come off of a wall, this video is for you. So we are going to learn to strengthen our core. What you need is a strong core, strong upper body, the shoulders, the arms, but also some flexible, you know, stretched out shoulders as well. Um, so there are obviously workouts that you can to do so that you can eventually reach or get to that headstand. Um, but also I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks and techniques to be able to kick up into a headstand or control your way into a headstand. So um, without wasting any more time, let's get down to it. All right, so we're going to do five different exercises where we'll be targeting the core or the upper body or both together and then we'll get into some technique or form when it comes to the headstand. So first of all, we're gonna come, your best friend is, are the planks, okay? Low planks, high planks, all your best friends. Actually, low planks, mm, the best. So you're gonna bring your forearms underneath your shoulders, you're going to extend your legs, come into a straight line from the head to the feet. You wanna make sure that you're pushing the floor away and you're nice and strong here. What you can do is you can stay in holds for as long as you can and then each time try and progress and do longer and longer amount of times in the slow plank. And then what you and then from there on, once you've mastered that, you're gonna then add on a few exercises. So I'm gonna show you some low plank exercises that are amazing. Okay, so you're gonna come here. One of the exercises that I love to do is pressing up into a dolphin, bringing the head between the arms and back. So you can do this for um, as many times as you can, or 10 to 12 times, uh, and just making sure that you're reaching that head between the arms, and trying to stay stable and trying to initiate with the abdominals, and we'll do five more. Don't forget to breathe, four, coming back into a plank, stay connected, three, and if you're slipping, you can readjust, and last one, and back. Bring the knees down. Okay. So the next thing that we're gonna do is come into that little plank. Okay. And we're gonna saw forward and back. Forward and back without collapsing, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Keeping the abdominals engaged. And there's movement in my feet. If you can notice, I'm pointing the toes and then flexing into the heels. And we'll go for another six and five and four, and if you can go longer, go longer, two, and one. Great, bring the knees down, stretch it out if you need, take a second. All right, for this exercise, you're coming back to the low plank, extend the legs, and we're gonna tap one side of the hip, and then the other side. Imagine drawing the rainbow, keeping the shoulders stable away from the ears. Breathing through, you can adjust your feet as you go, because there will be some shifting, and you want to stay high in that transition, not collapsing into the floor, and if you can't tap the floor, that's okay. You just want to come as, down, as far down as you can maintain control. And we'll go for another four, three, two, one. And knees down, stretch it out in your child's pose. Okay, so for this next exercise, you're gonna need socks, or you can just grab towels and put them underneath your feet. But we're gonna come into a plank, and then you're going to pull that foot in, and then the other side, and we'll go for nine. Nine, eight, reach as far forward as you can, and six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Bring the knees down, stretch out of it. Okay, so if you've never done a headstand before, what you wanna do is find an empty wall and go against that wall. You can kick up onto that wall as many times as you need. That will really help you with confidence and support. Once you get that, flawlessly done, then you can slowly think of coming away from that wall. Um, 
and we just want to work on that base, that stability, so that we can stay up once we get into the headstand. So the first thing that you want to do is learn to place your head right in between, right by those palms and press your head into the palms. And then also use your arms on the floor so you're pressing your forearms into the floor. It's a headstand but you're using your arms and your shoulders. So you want to learn to come into that position first. So you're here and you're pressing your arms down and that clasping of the hands is helping you with some strength. And then you can bring your head here and then you want to pick up your hips up off the floor. You can come onto your toes. And slowly you're going to walk, walk, walk as close as you can. And you're going to keep repeating this. You're going to keep repeating, walking your feet towards your hands. And then eventually you're going to learn to pick up one leg or one knee and then the other one will join. Um, if you're doing it against the wall, you'll just kick up and I'll show you that as well. So what you'll do here, which is the easier one. Remember, your arms are doing the work here. And you can just kick up. Stay here. Come back, kick up, stay here, come back. So that's the easier option. Once you've mastered that, then you can move on to coming off of a wall. But you know what, even if you haven't tested the wall, you can still just try it in the middle of the room because it might you might just have the strength for it. And it's just about technique and balance. Okay, so you're gonna bring, I'll just come to the center in case. All right, coming here. arms pressing down. What you're going to do is after walking your legs and back. Walk, walk as close as you can. Lift your hips as close as, as high as you can and back. And as you're walking you're going to start to learn to engage. Pull in the abdominals, pull in the belly button and back. Okay, eventually you're going to pick up a leg, bring it down. Pick up another leg, bring it down. Pick up a leg, bring it down. You can pick it up straight, Come onto the toe of the bottom leg, point the top one, give it some direction, give it some strength, and then bring it back. You can switch, test out sides, come onto the toe. So you're, you're playing with balance here, you're playing with gravity, you're playing with that core strength and that ability to be able to stay there. Then once you're strong enough, you can pull in a knee. So once you're strong enough, you can pull in a knee, and then you can pull in the other knee. Coming here, and then once you've gotten balance, you can straighten out. You don't have to straighten out from the beginning, and you can just come down. Okay, so we're working with that strength of the core, of the, of the shoulders, and also balance, and being able to balance. So you want to play around with it. You can even do that with the wall behind you, just in case you might fall, um, and test out coming onto the toes to give your hips a little bit more height to reach your opposite foot up higher and kind of play with lifting that leg off the floor, right? So you, before you lift both legs, you can actually come here. And if one leg is here, you can just tap here. Play with this, pulling the abdominals, pressing the arms into the, and then you might balance. And you might balance. And the idea is to have your hips over your head, right? So even as we're learning to walk as kids on your feet, you have to learn to balance, to stack yourself over the hips, over the shoulders, you know, everything's stacked. So you want to bring everything into stacked position. Your hips are kind of trying to reach over your shoulders so you can have balance. If they're too forward, you're not going to be able to come into that headstand. If they're too back, you fall backwards. So you want to play with that, learn to bring the hips kind of higher and higher, pull in the abdominals, get some strength, make the legs active as well. And that's basically it. You can just go through the exercises, strengthen those shoulders, strengthen the abs and core, and then you're gonna work on um, just getting familiar with that headstand position, and you can pull up a leg, you know, pull up two legs, get a wall, just, you know, go crazy with it. You can bring a mattress behind you if you want, don't wanna use a wall. And there's a lot you can do with it. It's actually super easy once you pick up that technique you'll be able to do it again and again so easily. Anyway, I hope that was useful today. Um, I'll see you next video, and we'll talk some more about more inversions. Take care, guys. Subscribe, comment, and like below. Thank you.